Are you ready to create a database brick by brick from a powerful idea? Notion has plenty of database types you can create. The standout part is you can create a simple table and later on add another view. The best way to learn how to create a database is to use a simple and easy to understand example. I've kept the example as realistic as possible to make the most sense to you. In this example, not only will we create the database, we will connect them with each other using relational databases and further using the roll up feature to look at summarized information. Let's start with an idea. I want to renovate my home starting with the kitchen. While measuring the progress on the kitchen, we will take into consideration three factors. Am I on budget? Am I on time? And what is the overall progress on the renovation? So let's start creating an ideas database. Let's put down the columns. Most importantly, we can't afford to forget the progress bar, the budget versus the actuals, and of course the project status. As we go along, you will notice the choice of the property that comes up on the screen. Now let's jot down some ideas. Let's say for home renovation, we're looking at kitchen, bathroom, lawn, and upgrade to the front door area as examples. Let's choose the kitchen as the idea to take forward. Now let's create a projects database. You'll also have to include the progress bar, the project status, the goal on budget versus actuals, and of course, the red, amber, green for the project status. Again, the property type will come up on the screen. Now let's fill up the table. In the kitchen, let's choose the following projects. We'll look at the kitchen layout, the lighting requirements, the new cabinets, countertop and backsplash, the update of appliances, and of course, the fresh coat of paint. Now finally, let's go back and create the tasks database. We'll have similar columns which includes the due date, the achieved date, the task status, the cost variances, and whether it's been done or not. We'll also add some notes to capture any quick notes. Just note here that if the achieved date is empty, it still warrants attention. That's why I've marked it in blue. If it's overdue by more than three days, it means it goes to red. And if it's achieved within the due date, it's green. If it's achieved between one and three days after the due date, it's amber. We've included all of this in a formula. To roll up the meaning of the project status, red, amber, green, and blue, we've created some points. Amber and blue gets zero points. Red gets minus two and green gets plus two. So depending on whether you reach a positive score or a negative score, the overall project will be marked accordingly. Jot down some tasks and fill up some proxy numbers for budget and costs. We'll add formulas along the way for the variance. The following costs were drawn up based on the budget and quotes. On actual procurement, the actual costs varied like this. Let's continue with our tasks. relationship between the databases. Let's start with the task database and link it to the project database. Now let's do the same between the project database and the ideas database. Now let's go ahead and create the rollups. First between the task database and the projects database. Now we'll follow that through between the projects database and the ideas database. And now my friends, 
we have all three databases created and linked. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon and stay notified of all new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.